Hello everyone, so in this short little video I will explain how to get and install Windows 10 for free. Now, I will be installing this on the VM which stands for Virtual Machine. If you need help how to install this on your PC with a USB or a CD, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll get around to it as soon as possible. That being said, let's start. So the first thing you should do is to download the free Windows 10 ISO file. I'll leave the link in the description for you to grab. This is not a cracked version, this is the official link to Windows or Microsoft's official website, so it's all fully trusted. As you can see, um, you're gonna see as soon as I download here, that uh, mine will be in Swedish. Let's just press download and start. The UAC popped up, so I had to press, uh, oh well yes. Let's see, so getting a few things ready, this shouldn't take too long. Let's see. As I say that, it takes forever. There we go. So accept this, the license. Gotta wait. Getting a few things ready once again. It's cool though, no worries. This shouldn't take too long, see? So what you could do is, if you have the option to upgrade this PC, then that is a possibility. But for this tutorial, I'm going to create an installation media for a USB DVD or get an ISO file. So uh, let's press next. Language, this is based upon my settings on my computer since I have a 64-bit computer and it's set to English, this is what they use. You can untick this and choose whatever language and whatnot you want, but this is, I'm just gonna go with this because that's what I want. Press next, I want the ISO file, this is really important. Get the ISO file if you're doing this for a VMware. Press next, you will save this to the desktop, Windows and save. Now, this is going to take some time since it has to download quite a big file, I think it's like four gig or something like that. So I'll be back once this is done. All right, so it just finished. Very nice, I'm gonna press finish. And oh, well, <laughs> setup is cleaning up before it closes. Now, by the way, while it's downloading and everything, you can still use your computer like normal. You shouldn't change anything. So here we have the ISO file. The thing is we can't just press the ISO file and then we'll have the Windows 10 magically on our computer. No, see what we need to do is we need to, down to download the, vir the virtual box itself. So. Here you can choose whatever platform you use. I use Windows, so I'm gonna get the Windows installer. If you have a Mac, then get the Mac version, etc. And then you have some Linux platform stuff as well down here. But um, uh, for the video, I'm gonna go for Windows. Let's uh, press save file. Ooh, this goes so fast, so fast. See, there we go. It should pop up on some screen, run. The UAC might pop up, so it, no, wait, okay, cool. Next, next. Yeah, next. And yes. So as you can see, this will most likely disconnect you from the internet. So if you're doing something on the internet, like you're on a call on Skype, just let them know and it should be good. And it should reconnect once it's done. If you look down here, it should most likely say that, you know, my internet's kind of cut off or something. Some sort of sign. Let's see. Oh, well, the UAC popped up. Just press yes and uh, install. Yeah, this is where it's going to uh, install the drivers and whatnot, which is most likely is going to disconnect your internet. So far, it's looking quite good. Okay, so it actually went quite nice for me. Let's see. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm at the home network. That's just Komodo. That shouldn't pop up for you. Anyways, what we need to do right now is you can uh, close down the, the the tabs and press new on VirtualBox. So go ahead and name your machine. I'm going to name mine Windows 10 64 bit, just so I know what it is. As you can see, it even puts that in there for me. I'm going to press next. Now here's where you have to allocate some RAM to decide how much RAM you want the computer to have. So. Uh, Let's go with uh, four gig. Seems fine for this uh, for this demonstration. Gonna press next. We're going to use a virtual hard disk and press create. We want a. Uh, th this is um, kind of a personal thing. I'm gonna use VHD, the virtual hard disk, and uh, we're gonna use a. Uh, let's get, go with a fixed size. And let's put it at, uh, yeah, 32 gigs seems fine. And uh, yeah, just press create. Now this is going to create the actual 
the virtual hard disk and whatnot. So this might take a few minutes and I'll be right back once this is done. All right, so it's done. I actually had to change the hard drive size to 10 gigs because I just realized that my hard drive was pretty much filling up from other clips and stuff. So if it doesn't work for you, like just make sure to put in the amount that your computer can handle because it will store, it will allocate the amount on your hard drive. So if you have 10 gigs left, you should probably make some more space on your PC or lower the amount of like hard drive, hard drive space there will be on the actual machine. So press start once it's done. Let's see. Should oh wait, never mind. See, there's like we can't because we don't have a disk yet. So what you need to do, I'm sorry, I oh, close this down. Power off the machine. Okay. Right click, settings. Then we need to head over to storage. And where it says see it says empty on the CD thing. Press this thing, choose virtual optical disk file. Go to wherever you save the thing. I am going to choose Windows because I saved it on the desktop. So that's the file. Press OK. Then you start a machine. Now, this shouldn't take too long. Let's see. Let's make this a bit bigger, shall we? All right. Very nice. As you can see, Windows is starting up. Now we need to do actually do the installation process of installing Windows. Shouldn't take too long. Let's see. OK, I'm going to go with uh, keyboard Swedish. So I can make things a lot easier. Next, install now, and it should start the setup. All right, so this this thing will pop up, the Windows Setup Activation window. What you need to do is, if you do not have a Windows 10 key, which you can buy cheaply on the internet or in the store, you, what you need to do is you need to press I do not have a product key, then select whichever here you want to use. I'm going to select Windows 10 Pro. Next. And this is going to take a few seconds. And I accept, next, and then custom install Windows only, advanced. Then you need to select this, uh, the hard drive that you made earlier, the 10 gigabyte one. Then just press next. That it's really that simple to restore a computer as well. Same installation process, but instead you do, uh, what you do is you need to format the disk. I'll make a video on that too. But now we'll, we will let this install and I'll be back once it's done. All right, so it seems that it's gotten to the point where it's done and it's actually restarting the system. So let's give it a minute to reboot. We don't need to press any key to boot from the CD or DVD because we just did that part, but it did it automatically. That's for another video when restoring the PC. But for now, as you can see, it's, uh, it's loading in, loading in quite nice. Just doing some, oh yeah, there we go. Some uh, system preparations. Starting all the services, just normal Windows stuff really. I'll be back once we see some something different. Okay, so yeah, we gotta we gotta make a new one here. I'll be back once this part is done because I don't I don't think you guys want to see this. All right, so once finishing the account, like once you create a new account, it's going to no no do this later. I don't want, I do not want to set up a pin. You guys can set up a pin if you feel like it. Personally, I'm not going to because I don't find that useful for this. No. Nope, I said no, I do not. Thank you. No, I don't know wh what that was. No, I'm just gonna turn everything off. Everything off, except perfect. And what? Great. Oh yeah, okay, so yeah, we're pretty much done with the Cortana thing, because this is the exact same thing you get when you install Windows 8. So let's just get this done. I'll be back once this has finished loading. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Once that's done loading, you should be greeted with the desktop screen of Windows 10. And that's really it. Oh wait, let's see, yeah, oh yeah. You have everything right here. Nice Windows 10 refresh. You have all the screen settings and whatnot. And that, my friends, is how to install Windows 10 on a virtual machine. If you have any issues with this, feel free to join my Discord server and ask me any questions that you want and I'll be sure to answer them for you if I'm in the Discord. I'll be leaving the Discord server down below in the description so you can easily join, as well as the other links for all the links in the video. That being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, 
feel free to leave a like and please subscribe because that helped me out a lot. And yeah, take it easy. Peace.